Pastor Paul Chapel presented this session, Trends and Truths, at Spiritual Leadership Conference in June of 2018. This is part 11, the trend of fewer young people going into full-time ministry. Let me go to a fourth trend in the local church. And this is a trend that is concerning to me. It is the trend of fewer young people going into the ministry. It started about 10 years ago. We started hearing more and more parents. Well, we want our kid to get this SAT score and this ACT score, and we want to help them get into this university so that they can get this job so that they can become self-dependent. You know, there's something more important than self-dependent. It's called being God-dependent. And, and we're seeing teenagers surrender at the ninth and 10th grade to go into ministry, to go to Bible college, and by the time they're in the 12th grade, they're maybe going to maybe a Christian college taking liberal arts, thinking they did a good thing, but it wasn't what they had committed to when they said, I'm going to give my life to get the gospel of Jesus Christ out. Pastors, if you and I are not burdened about seeing Timothys raised up in our church, where are they coming from? I can tell you very, very certainly that other denominations, groups, and church planning organizations strategically have recruited from the independent Baptist ranks to get young preachers even to take their churches because they're not raising up preachers in their own ranks. But now we're beginning to see the decline in our ranks. Now we're beginning to see churches where I would preach or we'd have a college group go and sing and they'd have 27 high school graduates from their high school and they'd have 17 or 18 of them saying, bury my heart in the mission field. And now we're seeing maybe one go to Bible college. Maybe two consider the ministry. So you're just saying this because you have a college. That's not my primary reason for saying this. I'm saying this because there's a world that needs the gospel. We love training students at West Coast Baptist College. There are other tremendous colleges represented here. I'm just saying it's not, not about one college. It's about the harvest field and getting the gospel out. And this is, a, this is an alarming trend. It's an alarming trend. And uh, pastors, we need to be concerned about this. So what are some truths related to this? Well, let me give you this first truth. Jesus Christ had one prayer request. And this was it. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth labors into his harvest. Can you do something we did in our Wednesday night prayer list? Would you put on your prayer list and get your people praying for labors for the harvest? Just explain to them, this is a prayer request that young people in our church will surrender their life to ministry. And let's begin to teach our parents again That if one of your children desires to be in the ministry, they're not a second-class citizen. You know, and I know we have to tippy-toe as preachers on this because people say, well, I mean, if my son's not in the ministry, then he's a second-class citizen. That's not it at all. I mean, listen, the, the ministry doesn't go like this. You know, here's the real important, here's the lesser important. The ground is level at the cross. And if it's God's will for someone to be a policeman or a doctor, then that's God's will for their life. But let's not shy away because of some cynical parishioners from this idea of emphasizing the privilege of the calling of God to preach the gospel. And we ought to preach for it once in a while. When was the last time a young person came forward in your service on a Sunday night and said, I'm here to declare that God has called me to be a preacher of the gospel? When did that happen? And if it's not happening, then are we going to be like the, look at, we poke fun at the congregational churches in New England that are now libraries and coffee shops. Why? Why? They just ran out of preachers, ran out of, you know, giving the truth out. Did you know that we cannot keep up with the calls from churches that need pastors right now that come to our office? There's an amazing shortage of preachers in our land. And folks, as the baby boomers retire, by the thousands, we must have younger preachers coming along to take these ministries. So have nights called youth nights where they just take over the service and four or five of them preach. 
and train them in their preaching and, and uh, have lunch with your teens and, and, and spend time with them preaching and, and modeling and helping them along the way. You can view or download this session in its entirety at slconference.com. For more information about Pastor Paul Chapel, visit paulchapel.com.